Hey guys, welcome to Web Coding. In today's lecture, we are going to solve this question, which is minimum add to make parenthesis valid. I hope you are getting the question from the statement itself. So let's read this question. Given a string S of parenthesis, opening and closing parenthesis, fine. You need to find count of minimum number of parenthesis, opening and closing when added in any position so that the result parenthesis string is valid. Okay, so let's uh, first let's talk about what are valid parentheses and what are invalid parentheses. Okay, that means what are valid parentheses string and what are invalid parentheses string, right? They will provide us some string of parentheses like this, this, or maybe this, this, fine. So we have to find what are valid and invalid. Okay, so I have taken this example, fine. So let's firstly not talk. Uh, now I am going to write some equations, okay, of eighth and ninth class. Okay, we used to solve some questions using board mass, right? Like two plus three, and uh, let's say I have added some brackets here, and two plus three then multiply by this. Uh, I am adding more brackets, four plus two. Okay, so we used to write like this only, right? We used to write like this. 2 plus 3 then these brackets and multiply by 4 plus 2 these brackets okay so if i am extracting only brackets from the above equation what will i get okay one opening then one closing one opening again then one closing again fine so is this valid or not so i i have to say only that this is valid why because what's happening here let's see when i move from the very start of this string okay i see the very first bracket is opening fine and the second bracket is closing so i am getting a pair of opening and closing opening should start from first and then closing okay then now i am starting from the next okay in the next i am getting one more opening fine then i in the next i am getting one more closing so what is this valid yes this is also valid okay so so this whole string is valid now okay i hope you are getting this why i am taking this as valid okay so what if i say we used to write equations like this can i write one more bracket here is this making any sense like 2 plus 3 brackets opening closing fine multiply 4 plus 2 by opening opening closing fine then one more closing bracket is this making any sense so when i extract uh, the brackets from it then what will i get i'm getting this opening closing then opening closing then one more closing is this closing see yaar, is this closing making any sense why should i put this i'm getting this 2 plus 3 okay opening 4 plus 2, opening closing this is not making any sense so this is making a pair this is this is making a pair what is this doing so this is a this this is an invalid okay this is an invalid string okay let's talk about some more examples what if let's talk about some single parenthesis or okay so if i want to write this one character let's say two can i write this character like this i can write yeah this is very basic things i hope you you know all about these basic maths okay so i can write two this opening and closing brackets fine so now i want to extract brackets from this okay so what will i get i i am getting this so this is also valid okay this is also a valid string okay so now i am writing let's say if i write two like this one opening only is this making any sense one opening parenthesis and i just have written two or or like this if two multiple three if this so i am extracting i am getting this this is valid again okay this is same like this now i want to write two multiple over three but with only opening bracket if i extract my bracket from here is this making any sense two multiple over three and this just uh, uh, an opening bracket and when I'm extracting so this is an invalid thing okay we should you know uh, these parentheses should make pairs okay let's talk about some more okay let's say uh, let's say it's 2 now so 2 multiply by 3 plus 2 and one more like brackets and uh, then plus 3 let's say and like this okay is this valid from the equation I can say this lay yeah, this is looking pretty good okay so now let's ex ex uh, extract the brackets so one opening then one opening again then one closing then one closing again okay so from here i can see one opening is here fine one opening is here and one closing is here so i can say that this is making uh, a valid string okay so one opening was there 
you know previously so when closing the game came so this is also making see this is making this these are making pairs now one this and one this okay so i can say that this is valid okay as you you can see uh, this equation is making sense now these brackets are making sense so the uh, its extraction will also be valid okay now let's talk about some more uh let's see let's take some more examples like yeah 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 one more thing so yes i was writing this now so this is valid fine so what if i now write this only this closing one i am going to extract is this making any sense nope this is valid and this is invalid oh, sorry <laughs> sorry this is invalid and this one green one is valid fine so now let's talk about one more thing okay we were talking about pairs na this is making pair this is correct okay now let's talk about this thing is this valid this thing let's write some kind of equation let's see okay so when we were talking about this so 2 plus 3 is uh, 2 plus 3 this opening and closing was like this i am extracting my brackets okay fine this is fine okay so this string is valid one okay now let's talk about if i say 2 plus 3 this is closing and this is opening is this making any sense what is this this is nothing and uh, if i extract brackets from this equation i'll get this so this is invalid the the equation should start from the opening and and we should obviously get one closing in pairs see this like like this like this this is also uh, a valid okay this is also a valid see this opening is you know cancelling this this closing this opening ca uh, cancelling this closing this opening cancelling this i can write this also then i can write this also this i can create you know many as many as i want okay so these kind of strings are valid i hope you now get inside you you know about now valid and invalid strings okay so this is valid and this is invalid okay so now what is question let's talk about question now we were just discussing valid and in invalid string parenthesis okay so what is the question we, they will be providing us some input like let's say input is like this okay they will provide us some kind of input like this and we have to we have to give the output that how many number of parenthesis should i add that this i uh, those parenthesis will make the this string valid okay i have to give the output a number a number i have to provide to the output that that those number of parenthesis i if i will add those number of parenthesis to this string then this string will become a valid string okay i hope you get the question what is uh, what the question is let's say this is my input so i uh, what will i do uh, okay this is my input so what number of parenthesis should i add to this string then this string will be valid string now this is invalid na see uh, this is a valid pair fine and uh, rest is invalid okay i hope you are able to see why this is valid and invalid okay so what now to to do this what we have to do is okay so what if i say this is my input right now okay i have just taken an example so what will i do i just i will be just making pair from hit and try let's say let's do hit and try this is opening this is, let's firstly now let's find the uh, let's firstly write these are in some space this this closing one closing more one opening one opening okay so let's see let's figure out some valid strings okay so i can clearly see that this is valid okay this one is valid okay the rest is invalid okay if i want to make the rest valid what i have to do i i want to add some string let's say i am going to just make pairs okay i am going to make pair one this one this one this and one this so now you can see this whole string is valid see this is valid this is also valid now my whole string is va valid what i did i just added how much one 2 3 4 i added four parenthesis so that i will 
I will be getting the answer. I am getting now answer. Okay, of this. So now let's take another example. Um, let's say this is my example right now. Okay. So now let's talk about this now. Okay. So let's try this, 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 and this. Okay. So let's figure out the you know valid string. So from this string, I can clearly see this is the valid one. Fine. The rest is invalid. This is invalid and this is also invalid. Okay, so now let's uh, try to add some. Okay, so this is alone. Okay, so I am going to add some opening in front of this. Okay, this is close. Uh, this is closing. So I am going to add some uh, closing to this. Okay, so now if I see this is also valid. This is also valid. So this now whole string is valid. So what is happening? See this was the valid string okay what if i remove this i remove this from the string okay now i have removed this how many characters are left see two characters are left so what was i doing i was adding one opening to this and one closing to this then i was getting the answer that means i was working on pairs so my answer will be what my answer will be when i am when I am, you know, when I am removing the valid ones, the character left in my left in my string will be the number of elements I want to add, number of parentheses I want to add, then that will make this string valid. Okay. See, see, see one more example, then you will be getting. I will be just doing what? I'll be just removing my valid answers. Okay. Then I'll see how many elements are left. That will be my final answer. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now let's see uh this is sorry okay so this is my input let's take some bigger input okay so this is my input right now so, okay so now what i have to i just have to find the valid ones okay can i say that this is valid because this uh, this will cancel this and this will cancel this so this is getting valid uh, i can also say this is valid it's true now what I have to do, I will just removing these and let's say firstly, let's make a copy of this. Okay. 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 So now what I'll be doing, I'll be removing the valid ones. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove this. Firstly, let's make this, this valid. What I have to do for this, this is valid. This is valid. I, I just I will do this what to uh, I'll do I want to add how many element that this will make it valid I'm just going to add one opening in front of this closing and this will also become valid so now this whole string is valid I have added what I have added only one character one opening parenthesis okay so what was my algorithm I was doing what I was just removing this okay so my valid is now I'm going to remove this now I have removed this fine I have removed this I have removed this also. So when I was making this valid, I was going to add one, one parenthesis. Okay. Now when I have removed, I have only get my, uh, I am only just left with one character. So my final answer will be the same as the character left in my this string. Okay. So now let's talk about the algorithm. What we will be doing. We will be using a stack. Okay. I uh, I'm just telling you we just, I have um, I have already told you the structure of this question so please go and try this first okay so now I'm going to discuss the solution what I will be doing here okay so now what I will be doing here let's say they have provided us the input this okay this is my input okay so what I will be doing I'll be just you know removing the uh, removing the valid strings from the character okay I'll be pushing the string in my uh, in my this array sorry in this tag and then I will be doing this okay so now what I will be doing you just see I will be iterating from the very start from the very start from the 0th index till last index okay I will be extracting my character okay firstly I am getting what I am getting an opening uh, opening bracket okay I will just you just see first now then you will be getting what I am trying to do okay so I am getting initially what my opening parenthesis. So I am just pushing my opening parenthesis into the stack. Okay. After this, I am getting 
a closing parenthesis okay so you can see i am getting the closing parenthesis here so this is valid this is valid thing na so i just want to remove this so what will i do if my stack size is greater than 0 that means my stack has something and i am getting some character which is closing bracket and in the top of my stack there is present an opening bracket that means they are cancelling each other if i am getting if i am getting a closing bracket and in the top of my stack there is present uh, an opening bracket then i will do just nothing i am just going to pop my i am just going to pop the top top of the stack obviously right so now i am i have you know i have deleted this if you can say i have i i was where i was here right when i got this i was here and i just popped from the stack fine so now i am uh, i have you know deleted this kind of nothing is uh, i was firstly what i was pushing na so now i am i am here now i am here okay so now i am getting a closing one okay i just have no option i just have to push it okay so next i am getting what closing one i can do nothing i am just going to push it now i am getting a, a an opening one so again i have no option i just have to i can't you know remove it because it's not making any pair okay then again i am getting this okay so my now for now my for uh, for loop is finished so I'll, at last i will be doing what i will be just returning my stacks size why i have already told you i have removed what i have removed the valid one okay see i have removed the va valid one all this is invalid when my, my stack size is what right now it's 4 if i am going to add let's say i am going to add some element my string was like this okay what if i want to make this valid i have to add one here one here one here or one here it's valid also or i can do like this okay so this is valid so i have added how many uh, how many character 1 2 3 and 4 so you can see the elements remaining in my stack will be the answer because i have to make the pair na see because i have to make pair which is left okay so now let's try to code this uh okay yes we have to code this in c++ so let's try to code this okay so initially what we have to do we have to create a stack in which i want to add characters fine in which i want to add character i am naming that stack as st let's increase okay try to code this in full screen okay then i have to do what i have to iterate from iterate uh, in the every character of this string okay so what will be this as dot size fine and i plus plus okay now i am going to access that character i am creating a character variable that is ch and i will i am do i am going to do what i am going to get that character using this as of i okay <clears throat> so now let's use you just see my conditions okay what i am going to do here if st dot size is greater than 0 that means what there must be something present in my stack right and uh, plus what i am going to do my character is equal equal to a closing one okay and and my stack dot top equals to what an opening bracket okay if this is then if my stack dot top is opening bracket and my character is a closing bracket then i have to do what i just have to pop okay i will just tell you what i am doing here okay else i am i have no other options left so i am i am going to push here push what push the character okay and at last what i have to do is i have to return something return what my stacks size fine let's try to run this code and see if it's working yes it's accepting let's try to submit this and see if it's accepted for all the test cases yes it's accepted so now let's try to try run or see let's take some example of this okay so i'm taking some small example fine so uh okay fine 
this let's say this is the example okay so what i am doing here okay so i have created a stack this is my stack okay so i am now entered in this for loop okay for i equals to zero my character will be what my ch will be my ch will be initially this at zero this is it's now zero one two okay at zero i am here okay so i am here fine so i got this and uh, opening bracket so my stack size is greater than if what now i am entered in this if condition my if my stack size is greater than zero that is not my stack size is equal to zero it's not greater than zero so i will not enter this in this if loop okay so now i am going to enter this else loop okay i have to just push what push my character what was my character my character was opening bracket okay so now i am i am now my for loop will again run for i equals to one okay now for i equals to one my character is what my character is uh, a closing bracket okay so now i am entering to this if loop fine now i am entering to this uh, sorry if condition what is my if condition if st dot stack dot size is greater than zero yes it's greater than zero and and my character is equal to a closing uh, a closing bracket is it yes it is and now i'm uh, i'm going to see if my stack stop is equals to uh, stack stop is equals to uh, or uh, uh, sorry my stack stop is equals to an opening bracket yes it is so i'm going to do what i'm just going to pop it out okay so now i'm going to pop it out i have done what here i have just you know deleted this string i was iterating from zero to last now see now i am not having this one okay so after this now my for loop will run for i equals to what i equals to two so my character will be equal to what character will be equal to a closing bracket now i'm going to enter this if but i will not enter because why because my stack size does not is not greater than zero okay now i'll enter in this else condition i have not entered in this if I'm entering in this else condition. What it will be? It will be stack dot push my character. What is my character? My character is an is a uh, is a closing bracket. Okay, so I have pushed it. Okay, now my for loop is done here. Now my I'll be, uh, I will be equal to three. That will not run. And uh, uh, after this, I'm going to return the size of this. Okay, what's the size? Size is one. So I'm going to return one. That means my answer is one. Let's see. if my is my answer one or not okay so i have returned size the size was one okay and my input is what my input is this see now if i want to add my answer was one what this means this means that if i am going to add one parenthesis then this will be this string will be valid string okay so now i have we have to figure it out that we, what kind of string we have to add okay i'm just going to do what i can see here this is valid okay this is invalid so i'm going to do the just what i'm just going to add one uh, opening uh, opening bracket okay see now this string is valid that means our code is right if i am getting answer 1 i can i can add one opening bracket here also this is also valid okay so this was all it was very easy questions please try to do dry uh, dry run then you will be getting a better insight of this question Uh, plus if guys you if you are not able to understand this question please watch this video again and if you like the video please hit the like button and share our channel okay guys we'll meet in the le next lecture bye bye